Hey guys, welcome back to Genshi Plants. Today I am doing a full flip through of my uh, Filofax mold and pocket size. It's the month of August 2020. I am just about to go on maternity leave and so that is where we are right now. Um, yeah, this is the same one. It's, you know, you can watch the whole playlist of flip through videos. Um, this is what we're looking at right now. I've got um, the same flyleaf. I really like this. It just makes me happy. Um, this guy is sort of a little postcard that came in a Harry Potter pop-up book I was given as a gift, and I thought, I'll trim that down and use it as a dashboard. So I just don't pay attention to the back of it, but it looks pretty good, I think, in the front like that. Um, this insert, which you all saw in my um, August Plan With Me video, is brand new for my Summer Touch. Um, it's, I have it printed back to back. You could print it, you know, on either side or whatever, but yeah, um, I have it folded over like this. So when you open it up, you have just a quick glance at the month, um, and you know, where everything is. There's a lot of birthdays this month. Then on the back of it is, um, like date specific stuff. Um, some events, but mostly like to do's. And then in here is other to do items. I'm having to make a point of opening this up to look at it because um, there's a tracker here that I keep forgetting to fill out, but mostly there's only like two things and I'm doing them pretty, pretty well. So um, I also have not decided yet what my projects are going to be for the next couple of weeks. It really just depends. I think um, maybe my project will be napping. That'd be good because I've been getting more fatigued more quickly lately. <laughs> like I said, I'm almost 36 weeks. I've gotten basically through most of this, which is my like goals of everything I wanted to get done before maternity leave or, you know, by the end of it, this is the sort of schedule of when I'm getting it done. And I've been doing pretty well. Uh, bra tracker still going strong. One line a day journal. Uh, I fill this out every yeah. Sometimes every day, sometimes up to like once a week, but it's better if I do it sooner because I forget stuff. Uh, someday maybe waiting on honey-do list. Uh, this is just a list of things that I need to talk to my husband about. So like when we have an opportunity to sit down and have a conversation, um, I pull that out and go, oh, okay, this is something I forgot I needed to mention to you. Um, at the beginning of my weeklies and dailies section, I've been printing out something, a photo with my HP sprocket. So this month it's my beautiful daughter with her Lola and it's just this photo really makes me smile. So. It's probably the best one I had. This was last week, uh, the very first week of the month. So uh, this is a Peanuts Planner Coat insert. It's called the Grid Lovers Weekly and I haven't used it in a long time. So I was excited to try it out for a while. I just thought, yeah, I'll use this. I haven't in a while. Um, so I showed you this pretty extensively in this last week's weekly plan with me. I've been using some of these um, sticky notes from Peanuts Planner Co. I need to order some more, but this is a little daily that I've been using. Um, instead of like having dailies printed out, I just kind of use one and then toss it at the end of the day. So this is what this week looks like. And I say this week, like the week I'm, I'm filming this like almost a week in advance. Um, I really do like an Alistair to-do list and having like, these are two sections. Like this is my project I'm working on for the week. And this is my content creation stuff. Having spaces for that is nice. If I didn't have those things going on, I don't know what I would do with all this space. Notes. I don't know. I don't use a note section <laughs> when I have one. I don't use it. This is my plan for starting next week with maternity leave. And again, when I say next week, I mean when you're watching this, it'll be here. Um, so this is a cleaning tracker. So I'm hoping that having the word cleaning here will remind me to, you know, spend some of my time doing a little bit of that. Um, I haven't filled out like all I want to get done. I'm hoping to kind of keep it a little bit laid back because really I'm supposed to just be taking care of myself and spending quality time with my daughter. Those are my goals. Um, but this is sort of a undated daily in every sense of the word and that it has no dates on it. But the idea is like, this is sort of a structure of our day to day and the things that I would like to get done once a day. Some of those are duplicated over here on a weekly tracker. So this is where if I actually have something that needs to get done on a specific day or an event, um, 
something to, you know, be at or wherever. I have a doctor's appointment. Um, that's on this, you know, sort of, sort of a weekly. It's basically a week on a page, but it's also supposed to be a cleaning schedule. So yeah, hopefully I'll be able to get a little bit of tidying up done, finish up in the kitchen. So I have two of those printed out just to get me through the end of August. And then I'll print out more. If it's working for me in the first week, I'll print out more for September and onward because I'd like to have extras printed out um, in case I go into labor early. I want to just have stuff printed and ready to go um, so that I don't have to be <laughs> worrying about finding my paper cutter, you know, on two hours of sleep. This next section is reference. So I've got the books that are checked out from the library. <laughs> they don't have any due dates, but I don't want to forget which ones they are. To watch list, we just started watching Daredevil season three, so I'm gonna put a little half there, meaning that it's been started on. Uh, let's see, wish no, this is gift ideas, and then this is my wish list, and then this is the next section it has my inbox, and then my this is just for like general things that don't have a place anywhere else. Current crafty projects, um, my I can cross this off too. I didn't want to do this and so I asked my mom to do it for me. She replaced the elastics in some of our older diapers, which is great. Um, still mostly working on these two things for the baby. This is the pattern of the blanket I'm still working on and I haven't filled out this tracker in a while. There's a chance that I'm farther along. It's a row counter. There's a chance that I'm farther in than I thought, but generally, yeah, it's not done yet and it's not going to be done. But I'll try to make it a priority on maternity leave, you know? This next section, this of first of my three projects, is uh, baby stuff, and I actually went over this entire section in a recent video, so check that out. Um, this is new baby spreads, so this one is actually available as a free download on my website, so you can check that out. Um, it's just basically a diaper and feed tracker. And yeah, I just find that having a 24 hour grid like this is the way that my brain thinks. So I have several of those printed out. I really only want to do that for a few weeks until the doctor stops asking. And then this is a list of where a place to put questions when we think of them for the pediatrician. And then I, I explained what this was in that video. I don't want to go into it again. There's a link in the description of that video. Um, I, hey, I don't know if I ever mentioned that I did this little bit of art with my Chocola watercolor brush pens and like the blender water brush guy. And then the black is just a, a Pigma Micron. I just thought it would be fun in summary and fun to do some, you know, watercolor gradient. So I did that. Um, this is garden stuff. So this is the layout. I don't really use the back of it. <laughs> this is the layout of the actual garden bed. Some notes on like actual plants that I want to put in there. This is a general to-do list of everything that I want to do in the garden. So I just, it's like I don't have time to get to it right then or it's getting hot. I'll write it down here and then, you know, do it later. And then this is the layout for next year's garden, which I haven't started yet, but I thought I would have space here just in case. I did end up with some space. We're gonna hopefully build one more um, four by four raised bed so that I can have more um, space for like tall plants to have a little bit more because it our garden bed runs north south. So, um, and then this section is sort of pregnancy related spreads. So we've got my calendar where we're marking off what week we're on. Currently filming this on the fourteenth, so I am thirty-five weeks. There we go. I'll tell you that. Uh, symptoms, fun stuff. I just keep filling them in as I think of them. Swollen ankles is the latest. This is just a list of all of the appointments. You know, it's here. Um, they also go on my calendar. So this is the same <laughs> questions for doctor list, except for my OB. And then this is where I'm keeping track of my weight and blood pressure. I take them every Monday when I take over to a new week, um, because we're doing fewer in-person appointments or were for a while. Um, this is just, you know, keeping on top of things. I'm not a particularly high risk for preeclampsia, but that's the idea. And then this shows me how I am weight wise in relation to like where I should be. So a little bit on the high end right now. Uh, this is a list. I took some notes of things that would sort of um, old wives tales, maybe some with some scientific backing for, um, 
inducing labor because I'd like to not go super late because they won't let me go super late because I'm going to be back, hopefully. Uh, this guy I wasn't using for a while. So this is like my notes, my monthly goals for my New Year's resolution, which was to get a little bit more fit. Um, so far, so good. Okay, yeah, but then I stopped tracking some stuff. I didn't really want to make goals for July and August because I didn't think of anything that I really wanted to do. Um, but right now I'm actually using then this July and August section uh, where I didn't have any goals to take notes about um, the workout videos that I have. So I do Mama Strong. If I still have a card, I'll link that. Um, I did a video talking about it um, and she has a set of videos that instead of being 15 minutes are only five minutes and they're designed for the later weeks of pregnancy and so I've just been doing those there's 12 of them and I was just taking notes um, on what's in each one so that once I've gone through them a second time I can then go back and say oh I want to do one that's a little bit easier today or I'm really feeling like I want to do one that focuses on my you know upper back today or whatever um, so that's what I'm using this space for this next section is content planning. So this is the spread from my summer touch that I use for planning my content just for the whole year on this one spread. Um, and I'm not going to show you the rest of what's in this section because it's private. And then finally, this last section is my future log. Same future log I've been in all year. August had a lot of stuff on it, but September has a little bit less. For reasons that you can imagine. December has nothing. Who knows what the world is going to look like in December? And then this is the and afterwards section of the future log. I always recommend having an afterwards. Uh, so this is for 2021, anything that comes up that's not this year, but next year. And then this is for anything after that. So there's a couple things for 2022. If something popped up that was for, you know, five years in the future, I could put it here. And then this is the evergreen, um, birthdays and anniversaries spread and very soon I will be adding a new anniversary to the end of August. My brother's getting married in a couple weeks and I'm very excited. This recurring task list I check in with um, once or mid-month-ish to put in the dates for next month but then I just look at it at the beginning of the month and add the stuff to my monthly spreads. This just reminds me of like the last time I cleaned the vacuum cleaner or um, change my toothbrush or whatever um, and then I do those things again like every month or so and it, it's yeah you get the idea couple spare page flags this is just the extra pages uh, currently there's only one page of grid paper in here so I should probably refill it and then I stuck this guy I think I got this from AliExpress but it sort of matches it's a little bit thicker than the other tabs but it's the frosted plastic thing and basically that just keeps everything nice and flat when I go to close it like this. There you go. That is everything. I hope that you enjoyed that. You might not be getting another full flip thrift for a while. You might though. I'm not really sure. I don't know what to, to promise, but, um, this Sunday's video, I'm going to finally, I've been promising this video for forever and you're probably not even waiting for it. Explain just sort of my, content creation philosophies, goals, and plans for the next couple of months as I am in a postpartum fog slash expectant waiting kind of a thing. So um, wish me the best of luck as I go on to maternity leave. I will continue to be posting videos and Instagram posts and stuff so you can always get in touch with me if you have questions and I will see you guys in the next video if you subscribe and hit the bell so don't forget to do that and I'll see you on Sunday. Bye!